all, and welcome to a special, not special, I mean, a daily edition of Caught Unhooked with X, W, Q, and A. Now, uh, this was originally supposed to be just a Q and A section, but since obviously we didn't get questions because this is the first one, uh, it's supposed to start as a Q and A section, but eventually I decided to add something else to it. So, in this show, I'll be talking about other car shows, uh, CPVs, my predictions on them, uh, results, if the CPVs happened in the past couple of days, uh, reviewing it, you know, the same old shit. Uh, now, I know call a time doesn't lies here, but I want to do one too because it was originally what I wanted to do before XWE, but then. Turned out I could make a colleague, you know, I find out how to do a colleague, and it was easier than what I thought. Although, it takes a lot of time, I was like, but I decided to do that. But I put this on hold for a while, and then someone said, like, do a QA section, so I thought, right, okay, do a series while on it. So, I'll just be talking about quite a lot of random things, maybe, but it'll all be related to uh, call in some way. I'm talking about uh, ICCW closing, Cl closing. What's going on here? So it's something else. I'm talking about I ICCW uh, ending. I'm talking about SMF's latest episode of Speed and SmackDown X, SmackDown Extra. Sorry, I'll briefly talk about XWB bit. Um, I'm going to talk about SmackDown vs Raw 2009. Uh, what else was I going to do? Um. Let's talk a wee bit about Revelation and that. Um, I'm going to talk about a wee bit about other colleagues that are coming up because you know why you just get the get the like the five usual ones or sorry four now. Well, you you had ICCW, then you've got SMF, DWA, EWF, SCAW. You know, it's really all you see. You know, you don't you don't really hear much of anything else as such. And I know there's a few out there that are trying to get up there and get noticed, but I, I'm, I'm gonna talk about that later on, but, um, this, the next time I do this here, I'll be doing a Q&A section, so people who's watching this here, post your questions on the comments box, comments box, as comments, uh, for this video, you know, and it could be anything, I mean, you know, what colleague I like, my favorite superstar, you know, that's random stuff. So just post any comments you want there, and questions, and I'll try and answer them all next time on this show, which could be probably next week, I'd say. But, uh, moving on, the first thing I was going to talk about is, of course, ICCW. We find out in Zachary Daggery's latest uh, video in the Q&A section um, that he was ending ICCW and NTA. Apparently he hasn't got the time anymore, which is understandable. Yeah, colleagues take a lot of time. An effort, and he's he's done his for a year, which is that's, that's an achievement in my book if you can do that. And apparently that's it. There's going to be no more from ICCW. He says, I think, uh, you may see some, <laughs> but God knows, God knows, nobody knows. So apparently he says he's into bodybuilding now. Apparently, which. A lot of people seem to be into. He's like the fourth person that I've that I've known about. You know that there that's done bodybuilding. There's about three pe three other people I know that is done bodybuilding. Not not car related, obviously, but people I actually know that have taken up bodybuilding, which seems a pretty good thing to do. I just have no really time for it, but anyway. I have to say it was a good ending to the year, oh my god, I mean it. Although there was a few things I would have liked to have seen, like Murphy and Nerd going at it for the title. But it was a very good uh, way to end the season with that, so my god, I mean it. I mean, the Hell, Hell in a Cell match, the First Blood match, and the Steel Cage match, they were all really, really good. Especially Harry Potter transforming that purple fucking thing. And the leg drops, and diving off the top of the Hell in a Cell, the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea Plunge. Jesus, it's just insane. And plus the ladder match. 
the chase for the key slash money in the bank type match. I know a lot of people said it was wasn't as good because there was a lot of like misplacing the ladder and stuff like that there, but that's what the computer seems to do, and plus it's it's, it's going to be a bit hard controlling like six people in the ring, you know, especially when there is like maybe one or two people doing it. But of course, it's going to be a lot of misplaced la misplacing ladders, and plus there was three ladders in that match, not two, there was three, so it's quite chaotic and him putting in the code and all that. That there, that there was good. That 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 my mind made up for the match. It was good. Putting in the code and him grabbing the belt and Tyrone Biggins turning out to be uh, Uno Dos Tres Nino's uh, father. It's quite weird. Yeah, it's just <laughs> oh, I just have to laugh at all that there and then uh, Pizzle with lotion and then the song at the end. You know. Ugh. I didn't really want uh, ICCW to end, but I knew it was a possibility, I knew it could happen. Plus, he was answer nothing. Season 2 related, you know, nothing like that there. But, I want to thank him for uh, bringing us so much laughs and entertainment for a full year, and uh, also in that Q&A, answering everybody's questions, there was like 110 comments, questions in that. So I want to thank you for uh, answering my thank you, and uh, you know, hopefully we get, hopefully we'll still see you around YouTube and SMF forums, as you say you will. So that'll be good seeing you out there, and good luck with your bodybuilding and whatever else you got planned. So now moving on to uh, SMF, and as you know, well today, then well. The day I done this Q&A slash call under underhook thing uh, on hook. Sorry, underhook. What the hell? I I think I've been smoking too much weed the last two days. I think because my head has just been spinning. Anyway, uh, <laughs> there was an SMF Smackdown extra today. There, uh, what else was in that? That was MacGyver and Christopher Lowell in the round two. Uh, King of the Bitches tournament match, and it was it was really weird. I mean, Christopher Lowell winning after you know been like turned by Chick Cambino, and it's quite quite unusual, you know. After Lashley dying, though, he seems to have went mad and like mental breakdown, I suppose. But MacGyver, I I was hoping MacGyver won, but I hadn't seen because none of us had seen MacGyver in a wee while, and you know. MacGyver, you know, it's MacGyver, lol, come on. But it, it was a good match. I mean, it was like, what, for six minutes? And it was pretty, pretty good. So he now, Christopher uh, Lowell, I think now, goes on to face um, Ultimate Bin Laden in round three. I th think. No, 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 that's Mr. Belvedere faces Ultimate Bin Laden in round three. Christopher Lowell faces the Green Ranger in round three. That's it, that's it, that's it, round three. So that should be a pretty good match, although I hope the Green Ranger comes out on top because, you know, it's Green Ranger. He killed Zordon, or maybe killed Zordon, but please, Super Dingoes, if you're watching this here, Zordon needs to appear again. I tell you, that guy is one of the best uh, segments I've ever seen in my life. That nigga, please, was absolutely amazing. And I, 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 know, I know it was you doing that voice, and... <laughs> If Zordon could be on commentary for even like a minute, that would be absolutely insane. I'd love that. Just nigga please and uh, no nigga no. <laughs> that was that that that's what makes SMF nearly unbeatable for me. I think uh, the Zordon segment is one of your best bets. So try and please bring it back a couple of times more, please. But. Moving on to the next uh, SMF CPV, you've got Royal Fumble coming up. I don't know exactly when it is, but I, I know it's coming up soon. And well, I was going to find out who Kill-Off's Hi-Fi is. So that makes it twice in a row that we're going to find out something big at the Royal Fumble. I mean, at last year's Royal Fumble, we found out who attacked Bush. And this year, we're going to find out who Kill-Off's Hi-Fi is. And as far as I know, I think according to a few people, they said that there was a few clues coming away that it was... Uh, was it a former SMF champion? I think. I think I could be wrong. I can't. I can't really remember. But 
A lot of people think it was Steve Urkel or Stefan Urkel, I don't know what the fuck you want to call him now, but... It's going to be really interesting to find out who that is, because it's been bugging me for a long time. So it's going to be really interesting to find out who this motherfucker is. Um. well, see you in part two.